So most people don't think about where we get our energy, but here at William Patterson, we have close to 12,000 solar panels. This solar installation is actually one of the largest installations in a university. This generates about 3.5 megawatts worth of energy, about 3,000 homes worth. That saves the university and the students about $4 million in energy costs. Okay, that's it. I'll see you next week. And don't forget, the papers on the energy initiatives here on campus are due next week, so get started on your interviews. Professor, I just want to make sure I'm on the right track for my paper. Should I include something about the new degree in environmental sustainability? You could, sure. That would be an educational solution. The program, it focuses on the responsible use of resources. Ultimately, our graduates will be able to guide municipalities or businesses in sustainable operations. But look, you better get going to that interview I set up for you with Steve Boyer. You can't keep him waiting. You're going to make me look bad. We're on the rec center roof now to illustrate the sustainability project on this campus. The solar panels here will pay for all the electricity that's being used in this particular building. The panels behind us in the parking lot with the other panels around the campus provide about 25% of the total power requirements of the university. My role as the uh, Vice President for Administration and Finance at William Patterson is to look at the financial benefits uh, for the sustainability project. Uh, we've invested about $250,000, but that return on investment is in excess of $20 million. That has given us the ability to reinvest those dollars on this campus. For example, uh, what we've done is we've enhanced the learning and teaching environment for students like yourself. Oh, hey man, give me like 10 minutes. I gotta talk to Jim about these electric cars. Hey Mr. Shelley, thanks for helping me out. My pleasure. So, I understand we have eight of these on campus and we're looking to get a few more? That's right. We're doing whatever we can to reduce pollution in campus operations. Everything from more efficient lighting and heating and cooling to vehicles like these. When you pair vehicles like these with our solar panels, you get transportation with zero emissions. It's all part of the university's plan to be carbon neutral by 2075. That's a pledge we made when we joined the American College and University President's Climate Commitment back in 2007. This is a very proud and historic moment for William Patterson University as we dedicate the largest solar panel facility on a university campus in the United States. Perhaps more importantly, this solar facility is a dramatic and visible sign of this institution's commitment to the environment and to clean energy in particular. No, man, kilometers are shorter than miles. So you're saying if we want to save gas, take your next trip in kilometers. What? See you after business class. The relationship between business and the environment is at an important crossroad. If managed well, we have the power to achieve great progress. If not, we will have only ourselves to blame for the destruction of this planet and ultimately ourselves. Like it or not, we are all responsible for building a sustainable future. Every decision that you make with respect to the environment in your personal and professional lives matters. You can make a difference. And that is what we are here to discuss today. <laughs>